The ancestry of the Rolls-Royce Griffon dates back to the Buzzard, which first ran in 1928, itself a scaled-up version of the Kestrel, and which was further developed into the R engine, which was successfully campaigned in the Schneider Trophy between 1929 and 1931. In this DVD, we'll study the features which make this such a great engine. You can see it being assembled right through to the day we press that magical engine start This button. is the bottom end of the Griffin engine. It's the crankcase and uh, crankshaft assembly with the connecting rods and pistons. And whilst you're not going to get one of these under the bonnet of a Mini by any means, it is about as compact as it's possible to get for a 36.7 litre engine. So let's just have one more look at the whole thing in action because it's um, such a marvel of human ingenuity. The oil supply to the rocker arms comes along the rocker shafts here and then through drillings in each rocker arm to a little hole on the chrome plated pad. And a Rolls Royce fuel injection pump feeding a single point injection nozzle which is directed into the supercharger impeller. Of course you only get out what you put in, which in the case of this engine equates to a maximum fuel demand of 189 gallons of 100 octane avgas per hour, equivalent to just over 3 gallons a minute. Well to put it another way, enough to empty a typical car's fuel tank in 4 minutes. Here on the wheel case we can see the auxiliary drive which we're just using to drive an engine speed indicator generator and also the propeller constant speed unit. Here's a good opportunity to have a look at the de Havilland contra-rotating propellers on this engine, as fitted to the Avro Shackleton. Before we take the engine out and test it, I'll give you a quick rundown of the controls. The obvious one here on the right is the throttle, which is the same as you would have in the aircraft. We have okay, a rev counter. We've got fuel, we've got oil, we have 24 volt batteries, we've got a 36 litre engine. Let's see if we can make some noise.